Ed O'Neill, Ed, in the back. Could you come to the microphone, please, Ed? Hey, Ed, I wanted to get, what? I wanted to get your reaction to uh, Modern Family winning for the best comedy for the second year in a row. I wanted to win it very badly. <laughs> for me, it was better than the first time. Just to repeat is difficult, you know? And, and for us to have done it, was, I'm relieved. Good night. <laughs> uh, Steve, how, um, how long have you been contemplating uh, the, the comments you made on stage after the series went about tolerance and uh, the the message that was being sent across the country? Uh, I started thinking about this a couple days ago. <laughs> how, how can you I've been thinking about tolerance for a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> but using it for a speech, that was a couple days ago. This is for Sophia. Hi, Ted from Ames. Congratulations. I was just talking to Christina Hendricks, who was saying she's a bit reluctant to discuss her incredible figure. She prefers to talk about her work. You have one of the sexiest figures in television, and I want to know how you feel about that. Do you mind talking about it? What do you want to know? Here. Please, Come on. Talk, talk away. What do you want to know? What about it? What are you wearing underneath? <laughs> what do I what? What are you wearing underneath? Underneath, I wear my underwear from Kmart, from the Kmart line. <laughs> it's a tiger print, this ring. And your diet? Well, tell me, what, how do you, what do you feed that fabulous figure with? Uh, uh, I like guacamole. <laughs> Do you work out? But I work out. Um, no, it's she's magic. very big into workouts, so I always feel bad, and I, you know, I try to follow her example. Um, but I, I don't need that good, but I work out. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you, you so great. much. I have a question, Ed. What are you wearing underneath? <laughs> My camera on the world, too. <laughs> Sophia. What? Nothing. Sophia. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. You said, um, you told me you had two dresses and you were going to decide which one according to your mood. What was your mood today and why was it this dress and what was the other one like? Um, the other one was like silver and very, very sexy. Um, and I don't know, I think I put it on and I, I, I brought like 13 people from my family from Colombia. And um, so I told them, okay, I'm going to try them when I, when I already had the hair and makeup and everything. And I tried them both and everybody, you know, said the orange one. So that's how I picked. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Thank everyone. You. Back in the back. Thank you. I'm also wearing Sophia's underwear from her Kmart line. <laughs> But before we get into that, could you someone talk about the decision that was made to enter in the supporting role categories as opposed to maybe everyone jumping in the lead role categories for nominations? I thought I think that's very that's significant of the ensemble that you are. Could someone talk about that decision? Yeah. I, I have nothing to add to that. There's, there's, there was really no decision. It was the same last year as it is this year. We consider ourselves an ensemble cast. and. Uh, no one carries the weight more than anybody else on the show, including these guys. They all deserve nominations as well if uh, we're going to give trophies out to people for doing good at their jobs. 
Um, we just love each other. We all we all think we all add the same amount of value to our show. We're a united team and a cast, and we can't wait for many more years of uh, of this show. We love each other. We have time for one more question. Secret that the last couple of years have been really hard for Americans. How does it feel to really get people laughing again? It's been so long since people have turned on a show and just laughed as hard as they do at your show. Thank you. Oh, how does it feel? Daniel Shannon. How does it feel to make America laugh in such troubled times? I just want to answer that. Well, it, feels, it feels great. It feels great. I mean, we have fun. We enjoy the comedy that's in our lives, and we, we hope to actually touch people by showing them that what they have really can be laughed at, but what they have is humorous, and then we try to tap into that. And we show them that, uh, you know, as bad as times are, that the, the family is still something that's fun and worth watching. Okay, we're going to wrap it there. Did Thank you, you so buy much. me that? Thank you.